Hello, everybody. It's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls, and these are our 2021 readings by sign. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, just go to my website at angelsouls444.com. Please remember that I do have courses over at Gumroad, and I always leave all that information in the description box below. So what I'm doing here is I, even though I'm not an astrologer, I'm just using the signs to break down into smaller uh, groups of people so that I can read. And uh, we will see what is coming up for you in 2021. Let's get started. Hello, Cancer. So let's see what's going on for you for 2021. I am feeling strength, just an abundance of strength coming forward. So this is a nice, for some of you out there, this is a very nice time of taking, you know, making what maybe you always perceived as your weakness, your strength. So your insightfulness, your intuitiveness, you know, all these things are like, can I trust this? Yes, you can. Um, if you, as long as you're grounded and your energy is clear, yes, you can. But that's the other thing that you're learning to do. You're learning to take a stance in a healthy way. It's a healthy way. It's not screaming and hollering, and just trying to win an argument kind of way, but rather tuning in and even seeing what someone's game is. Excuse me, a little cough. Not, not just like sort of tuning in and seeing what someone's game is, but observing someone's pain response. And unfortunately in this world, a lot of times someone's pain response has a lot to do with manipulation, uh, gaslighting, you know, these sorts of things. So this is you having an awareness of that. Now, there could even be a potential for some of you who have good intentions, you know, your soul is open to this, to have that realization that you get manipulative. Why? Because you're always trying to protect your heart. Why? Because you want to win. <laughs> now, you know, Cancerians, it's not as if you're not ambitious, okay? You've got your own little fire going on there and you know how to use it and you, um, can bring that up to the surface, but again, in a healthy way. Yes. So look at what your manipulative patterns are. Ask yourself, why is that? <laughs> what is it that I'm afraid of? And how can I be more integrated with my emotions and tune into my sensitivity, but be very, very grounded at the same time? What results from this? Well, the whole world kind of opens up for you in a way. Um, and it's purely coming from your shift of perspective. It's a shift of, no, I'm going to trust my feelings on this. Now I'm not going to push my feelings onto other people just because that's how I feel about it, or that's how I perceive it doesn't define everybody, right? So there is, I just want to use the word wisdom, wisdom and strength. So Archangel Uriel would be a very great Archangel for you to work with this year and to get to know and opening up your perceptions and this, um, broader understanding of what's happening. So this will be that kind of time where, you know, you have your goals and maybe the goals are taking a long time to get to. And yet you're seeing the beauty in the unfolding of every event around you. And you're seeing the beauty behind things kind of crumbling. So on the surface, it might seem like, ah, panic. But for you guys, <laughs> if you choose it, you can start to go, no, I see that this is crumbling down for good reason. It just can't be anymore. And maybe that's in your own life as well. All right. So let's get us some cards here. Let's see what else we have for you. Freedom, 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 freedom from turmoil, freedom. And the freedom comes because of your strength coming forward and embracing this other part of you. Yep. Okay, let's see here. We have, look at the bigger picture. <laughs> Full moon in Sagittarius. Again, you're taking that broader perspective. You're not, you know, a lot of you probably won't even allow yourself to get pulled too much into things. And that's not from like a holier than thou kind of standpoint, but rather looking at the bigger picture. And again, seeing, I see why that has to crumble. I see why that all has to fall. A lot of understanding here, which is nice and freeing. Again, there's that word. Nothing will come of this situation void, of course, moon. Now, some of you who are pushing too hard on something, 
you're going after the wrong goal, you're going to realize that this year. Or the reality of something that you have been trying for, you're going to say, oh, okay, yeah, I don't want to be a part of that. There's also some of you who have been going through a very hurtful time and you've been afraid of someone who you think has more power over you. Nothing's going to come of this situation. Nothing's going to come of this situation. Be safe. Always be safe. But the things that you're worried about, I think you're going to slowly realize you don't have anything to worry about, nor did you ever. That's not everybody's story. Okay? That's not everybody's story. Luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius. You are releasing yourselves. You are saying, you know what? I'm tired of being tethered to an old story. I'm tired of having my boundaries crossed. I'm tired of wondering if I'm ever going to have my moment. And yes, you will have your moment. And it's not an ego moment. It's more of a clarity moment, which then changes your energy and how things start flowing towards you. Okay. And then we have Believe in the Impossible Blue Moon. So you literally are, you're finding the strength and courage. Your passions are coming up to the surface. You're getting honest with yourself. You're making some changes and you get going in a whole different direction, which is really cool, <laughs> right? So all of these things that you thought you couldn't do, you're realizing, no, that is a possibility for me. For some of you who thought I'm alone, I'm always going to be alone. You're not always going to be alone. Or, you know, I really want this kind of career, but I don't know. Or I really just want an existence where I feel stability, peace, harmony, I'm happy. But maybe you always thought that that somehow wasn't going to be for you. You realize this year that's not the case. All right. So your color card, how beautiful. We have pearl, connect to the divine. 25 reduces to seven. So you're being divinely guided here. And you are being asked to surrender to the divine to see what pearls of wisdom, right? Pearl represents wisdom and Uriel represents wisdom. So, you know, there's this beautiful fiery passion coming out of you and there's a new sense of direction on a soul level, right? And yet it's very grounded as we keep saying in that wisdom. So this is not impulsivity. This is not just um, throwing a wrecking ball at your life, but rather knowing instinctively which way to go and when. All right. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.